video we'll do question 3 of the January 2013 paper. So here's the question, it's on matchings and we are told the following. Figure 2 shows the possible allocations of workers Charlie, George, Jack, uh, Nuri, Olivia and Rachel to 6 tasks. Figure 3 shows an initial matching. Starting from this initial matching Use the maximum matching algorithm to find unimproved matching. You should give the alternating path you use and list your improved matching. Just notice in part B, it says why it's not possible to find a complete matching. Read ahead in these questions so you know when in part A you're asked to find one improved matching, not the complete matching. Okay, so let's have a go at this question. Let's do it on a separate piece of paper. So part A. With these questions, you always start out the same. You start off by listing your initial uh, current matching. So you list your initial matching. Stating what's matched and what's unmatched. So our initial matching. Well, um, G is with 5. So G equals 5. And J is with 6. So J equals 6. N is with 4. So N equals 4 and R is with 3, so R equals 3, and C and O are unmatched, so you can just write C, O, unmatched. Always write this down. Now the next stage, we're going to look for an alternating path, so write that down. Tell the examiner exactly what you're doing. Alternating path. Now we're going to start off uh, at an unmatched and try and finish at an unmatched. So why don't we, for example, let's start off at C that is our match and we're going to try and find ourselves to one or two. So an alternating path, remember how that works, it always is not in your initial matching and then in on your way back, so not in in. So let's have a go at finding that. So C, it's not in, So but C can go to four, so C dashes with four, but four is fixed to N currently, so equals N and you're at N over here. N can go to 6, uh, but 6 is currently fixed to J, so 6 equals J, and we're at J here, um, and why can't, J can go to 3, so J with 3, but 3 is matched to R, so equals R, and you're back here at R, and you can get yourself up to 2, so R to 2, and that's a breakthrough, because now you've ended up at another unmatched, so you write breakthrough here. Tell the examiner what you're doing at each stage. Okay, so we've got a breakthrough. So what we're going to do now is we're going to change the status. So tell the examiner what you're doing. Change the status. So that means all dashes turn to equals, all equals turn to dashes. C is now fixed to 4, which is no longer with N, because N is now fixed to 6, which is no longer with J, because J is now fixed to 3, which is no longer with R, because R is now fixed to 2. And that's your change status, but let's finish these questions by stating now our improved matching. So don't forget to do this at the end. So our improved matching, well C is now with 4, that's an improvement. G, uh, well G didn't change, G is still with 5. Um, J is now with 3 up here. N is now with 6 over here, and uh, O is currently unmatched still, and R is um, now with 2, and O is now the only unmatched one. Okay, and we're pretty much done. The only thing I'd like to do, really, just to ensure I get full marks, is I'd like to put this back in context, so I'd say Charlie, job 4, um, so I should really, what I should do is actually write Charlie job 4 and then I'd write um, George George job 5 and then you, you know what I'm saying from here, continue that and I would write all those out just to ensure I've put the uh, problem back in context. Okay so we're done for part A. Now part B Part B says, why is it not possible to find a complete matching? Okay, so what you do is you look at it. Now, the, you look at the uh, possibility for a while, and C is the one that really sticks out with me. 
C only has one place to go. Okay, so if C has to be matched up, it must go to 4, which means N cannot go to 4 because C is matched with it. And that means N must go to 6. And if N goes to 6, that means O cannot be matched with it. And that's the only place O can go. So therefore, uh, O would remain unmatched. So the way I'd write this down, I would say uh, for a complete matching, for a complete matching, C must equal 6, which therefore means um, that a, uh, sorry, C must equal 4, which means N must be 6, and that leaves O unmatched. So, complete impossible. And that would be done for part B. Okay, so the question moves on then, and it says, after training, Charlie adds task 5 to his possible allocations. Taking the improved matching found in part A as the new initial matching, use the matching ma algorithm in order to find a complete path. Okay, so now it's telling us that C, uh, Charlie can do 5. So let's draw this in. Charlie can now do uh, 5. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I, I would have drawn that on my work, but I'll just copy that for now and I'll put that as my possibility one. Okay, and I know also that my improved matching, my starting position for my improved matching was as follows. So from part A, so I'm just going to write, take that with me over here. And in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw it on my original one. So C goes with 4 now. C goes with 4. G goes with 5. J goes with 3. N goes with 6. And R goes with 2. But we know that O is unmatched. Okay, so there's my initial. And I'm going to carry out one more uh, go through of this algorithm. So just to, as we always do, write down your initial matching just for good practice. Initial matching. So that C is with 4, G is with 5, J is with 3, N is with 6, R is with 2, and O is unmatched. And we're going to go for an alternating path. So alternating path. Okay, so we're going to tr start off with O. O, uh, o can only go to 6, but 6 is now with N, and we're at N. Now, where can N go? N can go to 4, so with 4, but 4 is with C, so equals C. We're over here at C now. And where can uh, C go? Well, C can go to 5, which is with G, and we're over at G here, and G can go to 1. And we found ourselves a breakthrough because 1 is unmatched. Because we started here at O and we found ourselves at 1. So therefore we change status. That's the next step. So O now gets fixed to 6, which is no longer with N because N is with 4, which is no longer with C because C is 5, which is no longer with G because G is 1. And now we write our complete path. Complete matching, sorry, matching. So, C is now with 5. Done that one. Uh, so, C is with 5. I could draw that in. You should use a straight line, so I better undo that. So, C is with 5. Okay, and uh, G is with 1. And J didn't change, it's with 3, and N is with 4, and O is with 6, and R did not change, it's with 2. So let's just draw the picture and double check, it's all complete. G is with 1, J is with 3, N is with 4, O is with 6, and R is with 2, and I'm done. There's my complete matching. 
am complete, but the only thing I should do, just for uh, for full clarification, I should put back in context, Charlie, job, five, I should recontextualise it, and G was um, George, so George is with job one, and you get the picture here, it's Jack, Nuri, Olivia, Rachel, so Jack, with job three, Nori, job four, Olivia, job six, and Rachel, job two. It's good to practice to put it into context of the question and we're done.